Hello everyone in YouTube land, it's Laura. Um, just making another video, wondering how everyone is doing. Hope everyone is doing well. I had a good day today. I was off with my niece slash sister, Jen, and uh, her two kids, and had a blast today. We went to Target, as I like to call Target, <laughs> and did a lot of shopping and looking around and had a lot of fun and it was windy and rainy today and that's why I pulled my hair up in this manner because it's which is too much hassle and too much work to do anything with myself today so I'm kind of just laid back and chill today um, but like I wanted to say about um, the question that I was asked about my anorexia um, it started when I was I think the symptoms started when I was eight years old and I was the little chubby kid in school that everybody teased and called fat and whale tail and I was called practically every name I think under the sun and I was rejected by all my peers and everybody and um, even my even my dad called me <laughs> said I was chubby um, so it kind of started from that um, and I look back on pictures of myself when I was a little girl and I wasn't even I wasn't even that big you know what the standards of today are as, as far as you know obesity I was not even in that category um, and then it, the sign started showing when I was 12 13 years old and um, I started no noticing boys I guess and I didn't think any guy would ever like me unless I was skinny or I didn't feel pretty enough and I didn't feel like any guy would ever accept me so that was my excuse for getting skinny and it slowly took place it slowly happened where I would just eat little as, as little as possible and um, and then I started dancing and then dancing was my way of hiding behind um, my disease, the sickness, and it was, it was such a, I mean, I would, I would, I would get better, and then like every three years, it would cycle around again, and so on my 21st birthday, I was really happy when it didn't come back again, because it was, it was like I broke the cycle finally of the eating disorder, and I remember when my dad passed away when I was 18 years old, I was at at the height of five five foot six. I weighed ninety pounds, and I was near. I was I was very scared. It was very scary, and I was very scared for my life. And you know, my my dance teachers told me that if I did not, that basically, you know, I had to quit the company and get healthy, which is which is a good thing because. Um, it helped me to refocus and to realize that, you know, I loved dancing, but living was more important to me than, than ballet or anything, you know. And um, I had a wonderful mother, my mom, who just didn't let me wallow in my self-pity and just, just sit there and just, I mean, I remember when I was gaining weight and I just felt so fat and fat's really not a feeling when we say we feel fat fat isn't even a feeling fat is a state of being so when you say you're feeling fat you're really saying you're depressed you're you're angry you're hurt you're upset you're furious you're you're just not you're just hating life at that moment you know and so i lay on that couch for probably about 2 weeks and my mom had enough <laughs> And she didn't let me sit there, and she didn't let me wallow. You know, she was like, you have got to get up, and you have got to start living again. You just, you, your weight, it's its not what defines you as a person. You are not defined by that number on that scale. That number on that scale does not define you, who you are as a person. And so, it taught me so much that to, to see that inner beauty within myself, and to to not, I had to focus on myself, and instead of making the outside beautiful, to learn to make the inside beautiful, to make this person 
that God created me to be as as beautiful as I possibly could make it. And, you know, beauty on the outside fades. Every day we get a little bit older, and, and every day we fight it even more. But that person, that character, who you are on the inside, is the most important thing that you can ever be, is just you. And that's all you can be. So, that's what I had to learn. I had to learn to love myself. I had to learn to love the person that God created me to be. I had to learn to, to see past this outer shell and to see and look deeper. And when I looked deeper in myself, it made me look deeper in other people. And to not look at who's pretty or who's ugly, but what is in each person that makes them beautiful. And so as each of and every one of you listen to this video and, and watch it, look within inside of yourself and instead of the next time you see that 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 big person or that skinny person or just anybody you would ever normally have something to say about, look at that person and wonder I wonder what's beautiful about them. Because there's there's something beautiful in everyone. Um what else is there? And then the emotional binge eating, that came, of course, um, from losing my dad and the emotions behind that and filling a void in my life with food. And I'll probably touch on that in another video. Um, after my mom passed away, I was really worried that the anorexia and the uh, binge eating would come back because that happens a lot. When you lose somebody you love, a lot of things that you once dealt with come back into your life. Um, so I was really worried about that, but it, fortunately it didn't. I had to rein it in a bit, but it, it didn't. I'm so so blessed and fortunate that it didn't. So, um, But if any of you guys have any um, questions about any type of eating disorders or any questions for me about it, if you're struggling yourself with it, you know, I've, I've been through it. I've I lived the life. I lived the battle in the mind. And it's, it was a constant struggle to, to be free of it and to, to get rid of that disease and that mindset that was so, that I, that was so heavy. So, anyways, um, I hope everyone is having a very blessed day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and for subscribing to my channel. Know that I appreciate each and every one of you. Take care. Be blessed. And I will talk with you all very soon. Bye-bye.